Welcome to part two of the review. The massive, giant review. Let's get into the real nitty gritty. Here we go. I forgot some type A's, so we have to go back to the type A's in a minute. First, I want to get something off my chest. Anna, come here. Come here. This is my assistant, Anna. Say hi. Hi. Look into the camera. Hi. <laughs> now hold this cube and look into the camera and read this. This is the type E something 333 three, three, three cube. This cube, no. Just read it. No. Just read it. No, just read it. Not saying that. Come on, just read it. Oh. You can Please, speak. just read it. Oh. This is part of the review. This cube sucks willy suckers willy. Cock suckers cocks. It says. That's what the sign says. Say bye. Bye. Say bye. Say bye. <laughs> Look into the camera. Bye. Alright. Now. This cube sucks cock suckers cocks. It feels like a tight D, but made out of dollar store plastic. Now, I hear that the .222 Dian Shang cube is, or, or Dian Sheng, as it's apparently pronounced, I hear it's so much better. But I've not gotten one of them, so we have to deal with this one. Uh, the thing I like about it is the stickers aren't stickers, they're just painted. You know, that's, that's pretty cool because it lasts longer, but it's like screen printing, so it like chips off if you scratch it a little bit. <clears throat> the pieces are kind of weird. They're like fake F2 pieces, only this came out first. And the corners are just like regular, oh no, they're not. They're like fucking, you could use this as a shovel. That is the Type E. Now we're going to scoot back in time because I was rushing. Oh, the timer. Where's, the oh, it's around my neck. We gotta start that shit. All right. Now, we're gonna go back and do some type A's because we left some out yesterday. And, uh, here we go. As soon as I get them out of the magic cube bag. Now, wait a minute. Wait a minute. Wait a minute, here it is. Nope, yep, yeah, here it is. All right, we're gonna do this the right way. Guoja, Guoja. I don't know how you pronounce it, but that's what that logo is. And I forget what it means. It's like native country or something in Chinese. This is the Type A3, the new Type A3, not the old one. This, uh, the new A's, there's two different kinds of A's. <clears throat> There's the regular old A's, which have open pieces, like the old Type A that I showed you yesterday. And uh, the new Type A's have closed pieces. They're all not really capped, but they're just solid pieces. Hollow, but solid. And, you know what I mean? Closed. Sealed. Um, so, yeah, this is the A3. This one has the two little devil horns that keep the piece in uh, from popping. And really, I've actually gotten this cube to pop twice, uh, somehow, believe it or not. But it's not, it's not a n normal occurrence. It doesn't happen all the time. Um, it's actually quite fast when it's not locking up. So it's pretty good. Um, I, I do like the cube. It just locks up quite a bit. Um, it it kind of feels like a Maru 4x4 in a way, in a weird way. The pieces are very hollow and thin, plasticky kind of pieces. Uh, it actually feels a lot cheaper than I thought it would. It looks better online. <coughs> uh, the A5. This cube is pretty good. Mine's covered in silicone. Wipe it off here. I don't know how this keeps happening. Somehow it's leaking out of my cube and I've got so much in it. 
you have to kind of over lube the A5 because it's so rough and locks up so much. When you lube it a lot, it gets pretty smooth and, and it kind of, it's, I don't know, not really faster, but it just works better. Um, it's a very loud cube, as you can hear. Um, this black one I got from Cube for You, and two of the edge pieces came deformed. Now, it just popped on me one day, and I realized, and I realized I was like, nah, this cube never pops because I have a white one from before the black one that never pops, and, you know, and I have them on close to the same tension. And the black one popped on me, so I, I took a look at the pieces, and I thought I had broken them. I thought they were broken, and then uh, they're fucking deformed. These pieces, there's two pieces like this that are just deformed. Now, if, it's really hard to see. Look at that. Now, a normal edge on this cube looks like this. Huh. It's weird. That's what it looks like. So, I don't know what the deal is. I've tried contacting Cube for You to have them send me two new pieces. They emailed me back asking for my address. I sent it to them and said, can you please email me back letting me know if you got the address and if you're gonna ship, when you're going to ship the pieces. They never got back to me. I've emailed them two more times. They never got back to me. I messaged Pestvik. And he, you know, sent him the pictures of the pieces. He said he would contact them. Don't know if he has yet or not. But I'm pretty pissed off. I like my pieces. Damn it. Just dropped it. So anyway, that's day five. Now, I modded this white one, like everybody says. And it, it, it did get a lot better uh, with the lockups. Um, oh, wait. Corners. If you look, the corners are rounded off. Where, where they were normally like this. I'll show you. I haven't modded the black one because I wanted to have one unmodded just so I can say I have an A5 and not a high on memory. Um, I don't even know why it's called a memory cube. It doesn't remember anything. Now see the piece is kind of flat there. You can't tell on this camera. It flat. It's flat and sharp. As to where my white one's round. And um, it's a lot smoother there. So basically, it it doesn't hit the centerpiece quite as much as the black one, and it doesn't lock up. Now, after I did the mod, I was expecting a huge difference, and really, I got a very little difference. Um, I didn't see a big improvement. However, it was a little improvement. So yes. It's good to mod the A5. Go ahead and do it. And you don't even need sandpaper or a knife like everybody says. I used a nail file. It worked. Um, you know, so go ahead and do your A5s up. Make them nice. It, it, it is a good idea. Um, my times did get a little better after doing it. So that's the A5. That's all the A's I have. Um, same time six. Right. Uh, we'll move. We'll do the type D now. When I said the type E sounded a lot or felt a lot like the type D, it's because they're both kind of blocky, like square. Did I do the type D yesterday? I did the type D, but I had to cut it off because the video was too long. So yeah, it, the type D is really blocky, kind of like the cube for you DIY. Um, the pieces are very square and pointy, and it, I mean, it's a very fast cube, though. It is very fast. It doesn't even really need a lot of lube. And actually, when I lube my cubes, I, I can only use a tiny, slight amount of lube, or the it, it gets all stiff, and I can't really turn them as well. So really, I end up just wiping it out and uh, putting just very little amount of lube in and it works way better than when I douse it in lube. Um, yeah, the Type D, they come in all kinds of weird colors like the Type C. 
um, and the Type A used to. I don't know if it still does or not, but uh, it's very blocky, like a cube for your cube, only a lot lighter, and it feels a little cheaper. It's supposed to be the same kind of plastic, ABS plastic, like the cube for your cube, but it doesn't feel as sturdy. It feels like it's going to break, kind of like an A5, but it's a little st stronger than an A5, I think. Um, yeah, so these cubes feel the same, Type E and Type D. Only Type E just just feels like crap. Um, now they say the Type D doesn't pop. I've never had it pop. The screws have to be tightened all the way. For some reason, if you loosen them at all, the cube just melts in your hands. And I don't like when my cubes melt. Um, it cuts corners just like every other DIY. 45, with a little more effort. Um, can cut a whole piece without effort, you know, pretty easily. Um, well, why don't I have this out? Let's move on to this. Cube for you, cube. Now, these were making a big fuss back in, I don't know, half a year ago. Everybody's saying, ah, oh, it's the best cube there is. It's so nice and great. Now, it's fast. It's nice and sturdy. I like the, uh, the hardware it comes with. It's very blocky, which causes a lot of lockups. Um, however, I've tensioned mine to where it really doesn't lock up. Really doesn't lock up much at all. Uh, it used to be the worst cube I had. It used to lock up non-stop. But somehow I found that exact tension to where it's just perfect. It's still fast. It doesn't cut corners very well. It, it cuts a whole piece. Well, actually, it cuts just under 45. So, I don't know. I, I can't lube it a lot, like I said, like most of my cubes. It gets really stiff. Um, but it doesn't need it. it. It's pretty fast as it is. It's just not my favorite cube. It feels big. It, it, it is slightly bigger like the Type D. Um, it feels bigger and just full. And it feels like it's going to fall out of my hands. Because other cubes feel like you can squeeze them. Or, I don't know, they feel empty. This cube feels like it's full. Like it has something in it. And it just feels, I don't know, big. It just feels too big for me. Um, moving along oh shit 